Welcome back again. Thank you for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. 26 years of Adobe training experience and master production techniques. Okay, so the next step we need to do, and this is after you define your site, we're now going to set up the FTP. Now, I just want to share a concept with you. Since this particular video is about basically creating a login form with PHP MySQL, a password protected website, I definitely suggest that you set up your FTP next. Now, if you're building a static site, you don't necessarily have to set up your FTP right away. You can basically just watch your local files on your computer. I highly suggest that you don't use, I don't like programs like MAP and WAMP because why do you want to go through all that process building it and then when you're done you have to transfer the whole thing up online anyway. So my technique is to definitely build my MySQL live on the server. Now about that server stuff, if you don't have a MySQL server space with WordPress and all the bells and whistles, I have a hosting company out in California. So as a special deal, and listen, pay close attention to this, I can offer you server space for up to two domains. So basically any two domains you can put on the server for the entire year for $39. Yes, that's a great, great deal. And here's another thing. Okay, I'll also give you two months free. So basically you're getting 14 months of server space up to two domains for that $39. I'll put a link at the bottom of this video of how you can do that, and I highly suggest you take advantage. It's the same exact server hosting company I use for all my websites and all my clients. Now, I'm not running a server out of my garage. This is a professional high-end server. I just have to physically buy and pay for two, actually now three servers. I have three physical fast, super fast running computers on a professional server network that I basically resell the space myself so I can pass that savings on to you. So if you need server space for testing your MySQL or actually for your clients or yourself or your own website for 39 bucks, you get 12 months up to two domain names Plus, I'll throw out another two months for free. So let's move forward. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to basically set up our FTP. So we already defined our site. So that's step one. You have to tell Dreamweaver where your local folder is kept. So as an example, I'm gonna close this window for a second. Now, that was the files menu. All the pallets are onto the window menu. Based on these choices, window files, command shift F for Macintosh, control shift F for Windows, open, close, wax on, wax off. If I click right here, this is my split. This shows me my local files and here is my remote files. Now we can't connect to the server because duh, we haven't set up a server space yet with Dreamweaver. So what we're gonna do is click right here and just let go. That will bring us right back to this dialog box. Now if you forget to do that, of course you can do that under site Anything about a site is under the site menu based on these choices. We're not making a new site, we're going to manage sites. Then you can just double click the site that you want to manage and it brings you right back into here. So since I'm a lazy guy, I'm going to take the name of the site and I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Now, of course, you guys should understand and gals how to copy something. Copy, Command C, Paste, Command V, Windows, Control key. So I'm going to click right here and based on these choices, we're going to click right here and we're going to define an FTP connection. Now, if you follow these exact directions here, it will work for you. What I'm trying to emphasize here, if you don't dot the I and cross the T, this is not going to work for you. Now, these are my settings. Where would you get your settings from? Well, if you sign up with my hosting plan, I will send you the settings necessary for the FTP accounts, your server. But if you're hosting with GoDaddy or register.com or HostGator or any other place, you would have to put in that information that they provided you. So in this particular case, this is my information. Now, I want to be extremely candid here. This is not my real information. Obviously, I'm not going to give out my real information to anybody. So I'm just going to put username and then I would put in my password. Now, what I want you to pay attention to here is you need to put in the directory. Now, most Unix and Linux-based servers, non-Windows-based server, non.NET servers, basically default to a www or a public.html folder. That is your host directory, your root directory. So notice what happens here by default. If I hit the tab key, it wants to put that over here. I, that's not where it goes. It doesn't go there it goes here. 
So what I want you to do is pay close attention to this and make sure you either put the www or some servers use it public, use public underscore HTML. It's basically the same thing. But don't take my word for this. You would get these settings from your hosting company who's ever hosting your account. They should send the FTP information. So as an example, some hosting companies actually do something like this. FTP dot name of the site dot com. I prefer not, my server is not set up that way. Now, pay close attention. Now, if we're going to set this up from MySQL, we want to click based on these choices. We're going to click the advanced tab and we're going to come right down here and pick the server model of PHP MySQL. Okay, now I just want to share with you, if this was a real live connection, this is not my real information. So if this was correct, you should be able to test and that will say you have a successful connection. But again, I'm not sharing my username and password with you guys. No offense, but hey. Okay, now when I hit save, I need to check one other box and this is very important. If you don't do this, this setup is not going to work. I click testing server and I hit save. So what that's going to do is any files I in there before I'll basically reset the cache, which is okay. I hit okay to that and I hit done. So here's my local files and here's my remote file. So in our next video, I will share with you the techniques for connecting to your FTP server. So stay tuned. Again, thank you very much for being here. If you're watching this on Udemy, I'm sorry, if you're watching this on YouTube, I welcome you. But I highly suggest that you watch this on Udemy.com because there's all kinds of little freeze bells and whistles of watching my courses and other courses for free or paid using Udemy.com. So thank you for being here.